I asked an AI to provide me its best recipe and this is what it came up with. The best recipe is a recipe for spaghetti bolognese. Let's get started and see if an AI can actually cook. Now just to confirm the AI really wanted to use this recipe, let's ask it if the recipe is good. Looks like the AI says it is, so we're going to follow the recipe and give it our honest feedback. First we gotta chop up our veggies. We got an onion, celery stick, carrot and two garlic cloves. This in my opinion is the best way to chop onion. You cut them some slivers and you cut each of the slivers into more slivers and then you have chopped onion. Slivers on top of slivers. It's like inception. Once you're crying from cutting the onion, it's time to move on to the next vegetable. <laughs> I cut up the carrots, celery and garlics and this is everything we need to get started on the AI's recipe. Now that your slow head is ready, cook me that spaghetti bolognese already. EMOTIONAL damn it! Heat a large pot or dutch oven over medium heat. Add the ground beef and cook until browned, breaking it up with a spoon as it cooks. I'm not messing with AI, so perfect medium heat. She didn't say to add oil, but I can't help it. Even though I defrosted my meat, it's still a little bit frozen, so I used the famous sear, flip, peel and chop technique. Very, very famous technique used by pretty much all the chefs, Gordon Ramsay, you know, uh, yeah, everyone. Add the chopped onion, garlic, carrot, and celery to the pot. Cook for about five minutes, or until the vegetables have softened. Again, I'm trying to be on the AI's good side, so I'm gonna just follow what it says. I added all the chopped veggies into the meat. I gave it a quick little mix. Somehow an onion got under the pan and tried to burn my house down. You shall be removed. Stir in the crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, beef or vegetable broth. Add the dried basil, dried oregano, bay leaf, salt, and pepper. Give everything a good stir. As you wish, not gonna mess with you. I put in the tomatoes, half a cup of stock, two tablespoons of tomato paste. I put in crushed bay leaf, basil, and oregano. Give it a quick massage. Let all the ingredients go on a speed date. I also added green chilies with the tips cut off just to add a little bit of spice to this recipe. AI, please don't hurt me. You better watch yourself. <sighs> While the sauce is simmering, cook the spaghetti according to the package instructions until al dente. Drain the pasta and set it aside. It didn't say to, but you have to salt pasta water. I mean, you have to. If not, God might strike you with the lightning. I put the pasta in the pasta bath. I try to shove it all in there to make it fit. There's a problem that I have pretty much on daily basis. But eventually the pasta always fits. After the cooking time is up, let's make sure that it's al dente. Yep, that's perfect. Now the AI didn't tell us to do that, but I'm gonna take some pasta water and put it in the sauce. Then I removed it off the heat and added a tiny bit of butter just so the noodles don't stick to each other. After an hour of simmering, this is what the sauce looked like. I let it cook for an additional 5 to 10 minutes without the lid, just so it can thicken a little bit more, because we like it thick. Serve the spaghetti with a generous ladle of the bolognese sauce on top. Garnish with grated parmesan cheese and fresh basil leaves, if desired. Okay, time to finally eat! I tried to do a nice spaghetti twirl like they do in the movies. But I don't got a rat like in Ratatouille, so it made it pretty difficult. I gotta get a pet rat. Then I put a heaping scoop of sauce on top. This is actually starting to look pretty delicious. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. The fake stuff. We don't have money for the real stuff. Speaking of money, check out my Instagram. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, um... Garnish with basil. While this does look extremely good, let's see how it tastes. It's really good. The sauce is super flavorful and has a lot of depth to it. The only thing I would complain about, there is too much pasta for the amount of sauce that it made. I would give it a solid 7.87.